By the end of the series, we will have purchased the entire map in Farming Simulator. We won't be taking out any loans, and we won't be doing any contracts. The only thing we're allowed to do is farm the land, and the reason we're at the laundromat is because I have nothing more than the clothes on my back. And honestly, they kind of just stunk, so I, I had to... <laughs> I had to clean them up a little bit, dude. But yes, we have $1.5 million. We're starting on medium. And the reason we're doing this series is because I wanted to give you guys a series with more restrictions where we don't use the bank. We earn all of our money by our own work. And we have a goal that we can achieve reasonably. Now, if you wanted to, you could probably go in here and look at the value of every single one of these pieces of land and then total it all up. And then uh, you would have exactly how much money you need to purchase the entire map. I don't want to be hit with that reality so we're just gonna go right into it so firstly we need to figure out what we're gonna be doing i'm looking at equipment here trying to find a good spam and i'm thinking you need a tractor tractor is fantastic tractor is great this tractor looks like it's gonna be perfect for us 305 horsepower it's the eu design let me go ahead and over to US real quick, no biggie. But I think it's gonna work just fine for us. It should have all the power we need. We can do more to it later, but at $117,000, it's a good sale. I'm gonna go ahead and buy it. Okay, we've made our first purchase. We're down to 1.38 million, but we have a tractor. And it's a beautiful tractor that's going to last us for quite a while. We can even put a front loader on it. It's ready for a front loader, should we ever choose to get one. But the first thing I want to do is find some land that we can buy. But first, to do that, we need to figure out what we're even going to harvest. So I see, uh, let's see, is there anything ready to harvest? So there is 68, 50, 32, and then some of the 70s are ready. So let's see what some of those are. We've got, uh, looks like canola is a lot ready to harvest um i'm not sure what this other crop is parsnips are ready to harvest maybe and uh what is this last one oats maybe oats are ready well let's do crops that we can do with a cereal header uh so i'm going to do to start we're going to buy this oat field right here it is one hundred and fourteen thousand dollars. not too bad we are also going to purchase another field and i'm going to choose either five hundred and ten thousand or six hundred we're going to go five hundred and ten thousand probably let's make sure that's canola and it is and let's make sure it's ready to harvest and it is i'm going to buy that that's going to cost us five hundred and ten thousand that's a big chunk but it's a big field money check we're at 757,000 we're under a million already y'all now we're not going to buy more land we're going to buy a combine because that is going to be a very important piece of the puzzle for us i don't want to go super cheap but i don't want to go super expensive i'm thinking either the new holland or the John Deere. Um, honestly, looking between the two, the Deere holds a little more and is a little faster. It is a little bit more expensive because of that, probably. And then uh, what's the headers looking like? 48 or 53 versus if we did the Deere, we'd be looking at 43, 53. It was 48, 53. So we can get the Deere header a little cheaper. What was the size on that? That was a 7.6 meter versus a 8.5. Ooh, the Ooh, New Holland's a little bigger. Giggity, we might buy the New Holland. So the New Holland, we're going to purchase 267. Let's go ahead and take it. And let's get our header on top as well. Okay, we are now down to $441,989. We have spent as little as we can, but also we've spent a lot. But we have a combine purchased, paid for, ready to do harvesting. We have a header purchased, paid for, ready. And we have a tractor purchased, paid for, ready. Just missing its implements will sort that out in just a moment. Probably one of the first things we'll look into buying is some kind of cart for it. Although we could do a semi and it might be better to do that, we probably should have a silo to store our crop. Although we can store our crop for free where we sell at the train. You know what? That's probably what we're going to do. It's not a bad idea. But we own, I believe, two fields so far. One fairly large, one is not too large. I'm going to meander our way over to our first field, and we're, we, we're, we're rolling. We're rolling. That's There's nothing more to it. I mean, shoot, bud. We going to go farm. I'm going to be honest with you guys. When, I'm, when I was recording, my mind said, you know what? You've talked too well for too long. You need to jake it up a little bit. So I threw in some jakery there. 
I uh, hope you enjoyed. We're going to pull in through the fire department. This is my favorite unofficial road in farm sim. I always drive through their parking lot because I fit. <laughs> but it's because I needed to get to the, my field, darn it, dude. I mean, I bought this field fair and square, Jamie. Now, we do have all the DLCs, or at least all the DLC, DLCs I wanted to have on, on. That is another key difference that we've got going on here today. But no mods being used, aside from the one showing you that little year counter and the weather. But I'm going to enable the straw. I want to do this so we can bail it because we're trying to earn as much as we can and it's something we can get money out of. Okay, I'm going to do something a little crazy. We hired a worker. They're going to run through this field for me. That gets me a chance to run back over here and we're going to sort out the trailer situation. Now, we need a trailer that's sizable that can be pulled by our tractor. We do have a pretty decent tractor on our mist. So 11.5 is what it is rated for tonnage. I don't know if that's what it weighs or what it can haul, but it, I like to just look at it and make sure my trailer number don't go bigger. <laughs> That's an easy way to go about it, boys. And this hurts. They're really going to make me choose one of these trailers, huh? Call me crazy, but I'm, I am I almost want to just do this one. I know we could go bigger, but I just don't want to. I don't know if I'll regret that or not. We might want to just get a semi. You know what? In the, uh, trying to decide these things is hard, y'all. I don't know. How's he doing? Okay, well, he's not, he's not doing the straw. So I pushed a button wrong. I guess I'm going to uh, stop you real quick, sir. You were doing fantastic. Don't worry about a thing. But I must have accidentally... Oh, straw's not... Okay, this crop tight don't do it. I We had the straw add-on, and I was like, I have no idea. I'm going to roll the dice and see if that added straw. Didn't. All right. Good enough. It would have been weird anyways, so let's get back to what we were doing. Wait, what if I just use this, and what if I just pull this? It's unorthodox, but it could happen. And then I don't have a trailer that I wasted money on, and I could just use this in the future. Can I get that into the thing I need to be able to get it into is the question. Hmm. We need to take a little trippy poo and... Uh, find out what this building is going to look like. I'm assuming we're going to have a little trouble, but uh, you don't know till you go look, right? This thing is like set up for duels, and we ain't got... It's a little tippy, boy. I think, I think they stole my duels from me. That's why it was so cheap. By the way, if you enjoy this series and you haven't seen my others, I have a series where I'm trying to earn a billion dollars in Farming Simulator. I have another series where we're trying to earn a million dollars in American Truck Simulator. And for those of you who don't know, my dad has recently... No, it's the other one, Jake. I always go to that door and it's the other door. My dad has recently started a YouTube channel as well. So if you want to check out the pop of pickle, then there will be a link in the description down below. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to be able to get the auger into there. Um, okay. Why has life got to be so hard? It would be kind of crazy to invest that money in the semi this early. I could lease the se Can I lease things? Did I say I couldn't lease things? I did not. I said I, I said no financing and I said no contracts. We were going to earn our money. I didn't say I couldn't lease. Never, never have I ever, my friend. Mm -mm. Run it back. You ain't gonna find it because I didn't say it. <laughs> I kind of like this idea. What if we lease? What if we lease a semi? Hold on now. What you looking like, Willis? How much is you? Oh my. <laughs> Why is you so much? It's that's okay. It's okay. How much is? I could buy the trailer. That's not that bad. I'll buy the trailer, but we'll lease the truck. And about the auger wagon, um, uh, undecided. One moment. Still undecided. That's a lot to lease. Hmm. Could just buy it. And we'd have it. And we'd just be leasing the truck to save us. We're not saving much there. Well, we're saving like almost a hundred grand. That's, that's that's good. We could put that to land. I might be a fan of leasing this just to start because it costs so much and I don't know that it's the right size for a tractor and I want to test that stuff out so we're going to do that. Let's hope I don't regret this. Let's lease this thingy and then I want to find my truck. I want to lease my truck. How much is this one to lease? 4700 We'll lease the truck as well, and we'll purchase this Wilson trailer. Okay, all of that, we're down to $371,000. We're going to use the rest of this money to acquire whatever land we can. Now, I need you guys to tell me in the comments down below, are we allowed to do field flipping in this series? For those of you who don't know, field flipping is where you harvest a field. After you have bought it, you get the crop off it, get the money, and then you sell the field. By doing that, the AI takes ownership of the field again, and the next year, they plant it, you let it get to harvest, you let them do all the input, and then you just buy the field, and you harvest it. It allows you to free up the money for your fields to be able to keep moving it around, and it is the most efficient way to kind of grow in the very, very beginning, probably. I think it's, yeah, see, it's a good thing we didn't buy this because it's our tractor won't be able to do it. 
we're going to have to downsize the cart. I only wanted this because it looked more American, but my tractor just ain't going to handle it right now. But it's okay. We'll use it for now, question mark. We'll try. I just don't think field flipping is the uh, best method for us here. Okay, it's almost full. Let's get our semi ready as well. So I'm going to start out by not selling any land, and I'll let you all decide that stuff later. Okay, we got our lease truck. We got a purchase trailer, a leased uh, Arger cart out there, and a purchase tractor and combine. We're doing pretty well. We've got a bit more money we can spend, and we probably will. But first, I want to get make sure things are rolling here. Eventually, if we can hire workers and have multiple fields going, and we just handle the truck route, or we just handle the AI that's handling the truck. Whatever, we end up finding the best situation. Uh, that would be really awesome. That would be ideal. But for now, we got to do what we can to try and keep up and keep things moving. By the way, speaking about my dad's channel, he has been playing a lot of American Truck Simulator. And he will be beginning Farming Simulator as well. He and I are going to start a series together. So make sure you do like and subscribe stick around for that series. It should be coming as soon as we get it all set up. We have to get some stuff taken care of in real life. We live in the country and we don't have good internet, so we have to get, uh, we can't really fix that, to be honest. So we have to work out our own situation to be able to play between each other. Long story short, give us a couple weeks and uh, you'll, you should see videos about that here soon. Well, that took 20% out of our uh, hall master here. And believe it or not, I was not expecting that. But that's a pretty good combine that we got to start. I'm glad that we looked at the header size because, you know, size does matter, boys. And in this case, it's going to save us a lot of time and effort. Now, all of this is kind of overkill for what we're doing. We could have just bought the trailer and called it good. We probably should have. But, you know, this looks cooler. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was a real worthy time, Jake. Good job, buddy. Proud of me. Let's stop wasting fuel. Shut this thing down for a little bit. <laughs> so I want to look at the rest of our fields. Looks like canola and oats are all around ready to go. But I could buy 30, 33, 55. And since these are nearby, let's go ahead and buy 55. That's canola. We're doing canola. We've got that, which is oat. Oh, let's go ahead and buy 33. Actually, that gets us 34. What's in 34? That would be sorghum, which is growing and not yet ready to be harvested. We wouldn't get our money out of it right away. So I'm going to buy this one over here instead. We have 252,000. That's 226,000. We'll have like low money left to operate. Operate. Is that worth it? Am I pushing it? I'm pushing it. I'm definitely pushing it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. 25 grand. We're used to being down here. This is no threat. This is no worry. We blew one and a half million dollars very quickly. Because of that, I'm gonna take over. Sorry, you're fired. My poor financial decisions cost you your job. And we're gonna get to rolling on this field ourselves for the remainder bit. But we've got everything sorted out for the very beginning, and we'll see how it goes. I don't know if we can use the uh, other stuff like animals and generators, like solar panels. You guys need to let me know what you want the rules to be in the comments down below. I will tell you I have Fieldstone turned off. At least I hope I do. If I don't, I'm turning Fieldstone off. It is off. Okay, good. I do have Fieldstone off. <laughs> Good news and bad news, I completed this row, but uh, I need to do a headland pass because homie didn't know how himself. We also are going to have to uh, decide if we buy an existing farm, which eventually we will have to if we're buying all the farmland, if we're being honest. Or if we are going to build our own farm on our own land that we've already purchased. I don't know which will be better. It depends on what stage we do it. If we need to get the farm early, then I'd go ahead and guess that we uh, would start building. But if we wait and have a little time, then I'd guess we'd probably just buy one. We'll see what happens. Can I turn this on, go ahead and let it pipe into the truck? I know this is just unnecessary. And the reason we have this tractor is to keep <laughs> the combine rolling, but I'm trying to do it a little cheaper. This is what I get to try for trying to, to do things that I thought looked neat and American. I'm like, let me let me let me spice it up a little bit, boys. Let me let me do you right. Let me get you something nice. I got you something nice feeling like I was a rich boy, and then I found out I was not a rich boy. Daddy was broke. He was always broke. But that's okay, because we out here harvesting. But I'd say we're doing pretty good. I mean, boys, we started out with one point five million dollars. Now we got twenty five thousand dollars. Anyways. You want me to be in charge of your portfolio? We'd be telling kids nursery rhymes about, you know, this little piggy went to town. Well, how about this little grain? Yo, what, what's up with this little soybean, buddy? Where'd he go? Hey, this little soybean went to China. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
No, officer. <laughs> this is my first root beer. <laughs> Look at that line. I'm going to hire a worker and let him fix it. I can't. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's just extra. I got to pay somebody to... What do you got? What you... I ain't going to ask no questions. I'm just going to let him do his job. Well, I tell you what. We don't need this here. The rest can go in the in the cart back there. We can actually get this to the next canola field, which is going to be 55. We need to cross over the highway here. Wait, <laughs> my favorite turning spot. <laughs> I missed it. Dang, gun. You mean to tell me I got to take the actual road? There's a boat. Come on. You want me to stick a semi down there? Pay attention, ladies. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't pay attention. That was a joke. Don't need you to pay attention. I'm all right. <laughs> I want to park this fella right here on the little triangle. This is the field that we're going to get started on next right here. We've got the John Deere, of course, to hold whatever else the combine gets out of this field. In fact, we'll just let them keep rolling with that. I am going to ponder life decisions and regret the things that I've done so far in this series. Because we need to get a little money, honey. And uh, it's going to be rough doing so. We got... No good options here in the used. And um, I don't know that we're going to really find what we need in here. Uh, we at least, if we got stuff, we could. We'll find out. You nearly full, buddy? All right. You ain't got to worry about a thing. I sneak right on over there. Watch me. They used to call me the homing missile back in football. Oh, shoot. The homing missile ain't as good as he once was. <laughs> Just kidding, it's all part of the design, feller. I gotta pull it up around him here. <laughs> Don't knock out a windshield. Don't knock out a windshield. This is... I, I actually own this tractor. If you're gonna break anything, break that, all right? Buddy, not only were you okay to make it down there, you headed back! This is just rude, but I'm gonna... We're gonna hit you up, and we're gonna do this down back. Look at that. Woo! Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. I'm so good. I'm so good. It's all me. None of it's the operator of the other piece of equipment. It's totally just me. It's not the fact that this trailer is extremely large and it would be very difficult for me to miss my target. I'm just built different. <laughs> Anybody else want to make a knockoff Nike shoe with me for farmers? And we'll have a combine pipe as the Nike swoosh on the side. If anybody's in the, you know, in the retail business, hit me up. I got ideas, fellas, okay? <laughs> I got ideas. <laughs> We're doing all right so far. We've got 12,500 liters in this trailer here, and we've got another 20,300 liters in this trailer right here. So we've got over, like, what? Over 33,000 liters so far off of this one field that we have not yet finished. And we have, like, what, three other fields left to do? So we'll see how it goes. If you guys remember in our billionaire series with those other fields we bought on that little farm uh, homestead, we're getting like yields of 13, 14,000, 12,000, 16,000 max, right? So to see us get 40 some thousand so far out of this place, all right. We uh we definitely could have done things a little differently in the billionaire series, but I'm actually really excited. Like I'm excited to be like learning these things and like seeing these things and planning for the next time that we go about it in say maybe Farm Sim 25. I have no idea if or when a FarmSim 25 is going to be announced or released or anything like that, um, but I th think it wouldn't be unlikely. I also wouldn't mind if it was just 22 for a little while longer still. I know that maybe is a little strange for most, but if it meant the game would be even better yet on the next one, then you know I'd gladly take that. I think 22 is still a pretty fantastic game, so and I think really 22 could and still does have a lot of shelf life on it. Okay, so surely you're going to be fine to finish up that pass. While you do finish that pass, I'm going to try and sneak over to the other field, if I can very slowly. And by the time I get there, hopefully you will be done over here and ready to go to the field. We're going to figure out how to rip this up, but that can wait. We don't need to learn how to do that until next spring, really. <laughs> oh, come on, buddy. Come on, Cheddar. Come on, Cheddar. Come on, boy. Come on, Shredder. You can do it. You can do it. Everybody bet on the seven. Come on, look at her. Bet on the seven, baby. Woo! <laughs> like it's a racehorse. I'm going to take this left, and I'm going to do it very quick because I'm impatient. Hopefully you don't hit me. Okay, thank you. Bye. We made it to the field, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we drifted into the field, ladies and gentlemen. But I'm going to 
park that right there for now because the combine is just about finished with this field over here. That is an entire canola field harvested. We have well over 40,000 liters. I don't know exactly how much we have in total. I didn't even look, but we'll know in just a moment. And with that, that field is completely finished. We're going to move this combine right on to the next canola field. It's a little dirty, but hey, that's the price of getting work done, boys. Okay, good news. We're here. I don't need to unload what we've got. That can wait. We're going to get started right away on our harvest of this little field here. And honestly... While I do this, probably should be getting that tractor right there unloaded into that truck over there. So I'm going to get a couple headlands done. Uh, it might be able to handle going down back like this if I just clean up down by these trees right here. Yeah, you know what? I think that's what I'll do. So let me let me hit this with a couple down backs real quick. Line myself up, back myself up, stop myself. I can't really add the word up there, but if I you know could, I would. And then we're going to go forward. There we go. Nice little headland pass. Give us a little room from them trees. Space to turn around. That's what our buddy needs. I honestly thought we would just be having a lot more yield and stuff. Like I thought maybe we'd take trailer loads off that other field. So it was my misjudgment in using that cart. I overplanned, overcompensated, but at least their leases. And we got to learn to whether they would work. That's part of what I wanted to do is see whether it would be worth even buying in the future. At this rate, I might as well just finish this daggum field and deal with that after. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> do this myself. <laughs> Forget about it. Hey, Jake, you should have never asked me to do this because now you're fired. What an idiot. What an idiot man over there saying, Hey, Jake. Yeah, Mr. Hey, Jake over there got himself fired. Look at that. Homemade bread? Grandma made homemade bread? I do want homemade bread. I want to go eat homemade bread right now. Hit like if I should go eat homemade bread that my grandma made right now. Trust me, would you understand if I paused just to go do that? I'd understand, but anyways, we gotta hop into the truck. I gotta open up the tarp. Front, uh, the front bin is what we gotta dump into. This thing's almost completely full, and uh, that means our truck is gonna end up almost completely full, so I'm hoping. Our combine is over there just finishing up our field here. Canola harvest almost completed, maybe a full trailer load out of it, or more. We're going to have more than a full trailer load. Boys, that's what I like to see. Oh, we do. 40% already still in the uh, Hall Master. So we actually did get a full trailer load and more. Love to see it. I'm going to park right here so that guy can finish up his two passes while we sneak this over to the uh, storage facility, which I need to just go straight, probably. All right, fellas. Hold on. Hold on. Everybody. Oh! Gosh, dang it. Dig curb it. I dig curb it. My bad. So you just pull up in here, and you go ahead and set to a, probably the first one or the back one. Yeah, the first one, it's unloading the very first hopper. So you can kind of see it dumping out just a little bit there. Then when that one gets dumped, you pull forward and make sure your other one is in the zone. I'm going to click U on my keyboard, switches the deal, which one we're going to be dumping, and click I on my keyboard, and it will dump the next back piece. While that does... I want to get this combine unloading with the 2,000 liters that is just sitting inside of it. And we've got 40% in that hall master still. We're going to have to get that sorted out before we can use this for our oat harvest. But if we sneak over to the small oat field over here and get started, we probably don't even need our hall master for that field. So that's what we'll do. Okay, so this is completely empty. All we got to do is sneak beyond the tree grove and is that field right there that's golden ready to be harvested. We've got $24,955 right now. So money could be a little better, of course. You know, I, I'm uh, famous for putting myself down the $20,000 range, but here we are. And I'm going to clean up a little headland pass or two by these trees. That side might be fine, but I know these trees will cause a little bit of a problem. So we got to get it cleaned up, and then we'll set up a little down backs. We'll get our semi back over here, and we'll sort out all of that stuff. But we've officially switched over, and we have started our oat harvest. We've got this field and one more field with oats. And then we'll be moving on through the winter months, keeping an eye on the sale market to see if there's anything pop-up that we need, and then pray that we have the money for it. I don't know what this crop is, but it looks new, and I want to eventually harvest it. I want to say it's probably going to be parsnip. 
Let's take a look. It is! Ha ha ha! Knew it. That's cool, boys. Well, that's cool. I'm gonna do parsnip one day. I'm probably gonna regret saying that. Is parsnip a pain in the butt? Let me know in the comments down below, please. Thank you. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, missed a little bit of oats back there, but that's for the deer. It's for hunting season. Don't worry about it. But let's go ahead, hit this down back. Look at me. Look at me. Ooh, look at it. That's your boy right there. We're going to hire a worker. <laughs> I got to get this truck out of here before they tow it. It's been sitting over here for like a while. But we have got that entire trailer dropped off. Now I just got to sneak back over to where our elm, our what is it called? It's our hall master. Okay, bucko, hit me with your best shot. Hey, whoa, who folded you up? Who folded you up? Was it me? It was probably me. I don't remember doing it. That's a cardinal sin. I'm sorry. I ain't mean it. The farm some gods are looking down on me like, whoa, boy, what you doing? It's okay. It's okay, Papa. We fixed it. Look. <laughs> we got to get the rest of the canola out of there into the trailer. That way we can sneak over... Honestly, I don't even think we need the Hallmaster anymore. It was that big field I was mainly worried about. 22 is still a pretty good field. It's probably at least twice the size of the one we're working. Um, my goodness, I don't know. We've got 100% full here. Do I have any more? Oh, gosh, dang it. Yes, a tiny, tiny little bit. And that's going to make it so I can't use that bin. Uh-huh. I got to go dump that. <laughs> yep. That seems about right. <laughs> but I really don't think we need the Hallmaster anymore. I think we might be able to handle with the truck. It's funny. We got a trailer and we have a tractor. But we need a truck and a cart. We have 50% of two different rigs. I love it. Oh, curved it again. Look at me. Curve special, boys. Yo, can I take that little traffic thingy? I want it. It's mine now. I have a cone, and now I have one of those. Nice. There we go. All of the canola is being dumped out. That's all of the canola from our harvest, which uh, hopefully is going to make us a fair bit of money. We'll find out whenever the high is for sale. But for now, I'm going to get this truck back to where we got to go. And I think we're going to go ahead and return the Hallmaster so I don't bill any more hours on it, maybe? Because I do think we might be able to get by. So I'm going to do it. Probably will end up regretting it. That's most decisions I make. But, hey, it is what it is, baby. We just gotta move on. I don't know what to do about it. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes you just gotta look at life and say, that hurt. 80% <laughs> full! Good lord. Sorry, tacos. I was gonna stop in and get some at 8.51 in the morning, but I don't get none now. I gotta get to work. You know, I could buy a dolly and you could pull this. It would save me money. It's a weird way to do it, but it would save me. Hey, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> We on to something? We on to something? We buying a dolly. We buying a dolly. It, I'm a, it's, it's decided. You don't even got to argue me on it, okay? I, it's already, I know what we doing. We buying a dolly. Hey, Mr. Red Car, you are very patient, my friend, and I want to applaud you for your efforts, but it looks like in this situation it's unnecessary. However, oh, look at you. All of a sudden, maybe necessary? Not really. You could have gone that whole time, bucko, but I appreciate you. Oh, oh no, now trucks anyway. What are you going to do? Ha ha ha! Ah, uh, you got, you, you're right. You, I'm messing with you, boy. Well, hey, hey, oh, he's calling. Oh, all right. Got to talk to the county mountie now. My bad. <laughs> Mr. Bird, this is my field. Get out. Go on. Get. Oh, sorry. I was chasing a bird. Hold on. Coming back. Yeah, that's right. You can keep your pipe out. I'll be right there. Give me your oats, buddy. Woo! We're halfway through this <laughs> oat field, and uh, I'm definitely thinking we did not need the hall master for this one. <laughs> Um, no insult to our field or anything, but yeah, something tells me we didn't really need it. I really do want to get that dolly and just use the tractor to pull this around until we can buy a truck. That'll save me money and we can do it. I'm down. I'm down, boys. Put me in 2016, baby, because I'm down to clown. We'll keep our truck for now. We already paid for the rental, so. However, I can maybe get a tractor going on something. I don't know. I have $24,000. What could it do? Well... When you got $24,000 in your bank account, I'll show you exactly what your tractor can do. Here's what it can do. You pull right over here, and you do that, and you just walk away from it, and you say, okay, back over here to the thing that I can use. <laughs> did I take over and immediately make this thing crooked? I did not. Do not. I refuse to believe that this was me. Uh-uh. We're donating them beans. This was not me. I refuse to believe it. Did I really cause this? Oh. I'm going to have to clean all that up, ain't I? That's nice. Ah! That's me yelling at it in Chewbacca. I got so mad I defaulted to angry childhood fictional character. Sheep, bitch. She's a little too thick. 
We don't have to come back a second time. My bad. Come on, New Holland. We got to figure out a name for this New Holland, y'all. Comment down below. What are we naming the New Holland? To New Holland CH770. Ah, gosh dang it. I was looking at your rear and then I got off track. Oh, and also I was trying to read. Uh, wait, what? I really want that homemade bread. Just gonna put that out there. Good news, everyone. We're behind the gas station on the other side of our old farm on the other billionaire series. And, uh, well, we're harvesting more oats. Good old time over here. Field's not quite as big as I thought it was gonna be. It is about double size of the one we were just on. With all of that muttered out of the way, I'm gonna continue going through this field and losing my sanity. But I'll see y'all on the other side.